Nobody go stop mama simple maasahan Nobody stop like mama Once again, a very pleasant morning to all of you basketball fans here at the Aero Center. And it's time for game number two of this Father's Day presentation of the third Ayaba Tantuay Athletics Cup. It's Grace Crescent College going up against the Philippine Institute of Quezon City. And now let us welcome the starters of both teams beginning with your Grace Christian College. At guard number three, Francis Dew. At forward number four, Alan Ten. Center number eight, Alex Lau. The other guard number nine, Khoi Ong. And the other forward number 23, Gilbert Sanidad. Head coach of Grace Wilson College is Danilo Ching. And now, let us welcome the starters for Philippine Institute of Quezon City. At power forward number 11, Arvin Ong. At two guard number 13, Ivan C. Small forward number 17, Gilbert Castro. At center number 18, Mark Cheng. And at point guard number 41, Christian Lee. Head coach or leading the Philippine Institute of Quezon City is Paul Yoon. Our referees for this game are John Rasta, Lester Arcega, and Jeff Borgonia. And we are back with more action from the third Ayaba Tanwai Athletics Cup. This is our second game in our 40 up division. Five games set this Father's Day. Grace Christian College alumni against. Philippine Institute of Quezon City. How are you doing all? Thank you very much for tuning in with us. Diego Del Paz together with the monster Greg Celia on the call. Our starting fives for both teams. Francis Chu, Alan Tan, Alex Lau, Cloyd Ong, and Gilbert Sanidad for Grace Christian College alumni. While for Philippine Institute of Quezon City, Arvin Ong, Ivan C, Gilbert Castro, Mark Cheng, and Christian Lee. We're about to tip, tip things off and uh, a little bit of background for this uh, matchup. It, uh, Philippine Institute of Quezon City winning against Chongse Academy last week, 69-48. to 48, While Grace Christian College alumni is on top of the team standings with a 2-0 record. So both of these teams undefeated. So one of these teams will get their first taste of defeat this season after this one. Three-pointer to start our ball game, no good. And Greg, we have an interesting uh, matchup in our hands. Oh uh, yeah, actually for the Grace Christian uh, College, you have Gilbert said that in, their, in his last game, uh, coming up with a double, double, 18 points and 22 rebounds alongside uh, four assists. And of course, uh, the spark plug off the bench is Albert Chua, who only shot one out of nine, but he flirted with a mere triple double there with five points, seven rebounds and nine assists. And he was actually the leading in a plus minus with plus 13. And of course, uh, we know that Grace Christian plays fast, uh, scoring 22 fast break points in their last game. And of course, uh, the rebounding department has been good so, uh, so far for them, converting 22 second chance points. As we see here also uh, in the Metro Summit Realty, that is. Yeah, great pass there inside by Arvin Ong to a cutting uh, Christopher Lee. A late, uh, actually late addition to our starting lineup. So, so that was a good start there for PIQC. Great on their half court set, actually. And of course, speaking of PIQC, we have uh, a very uh, balanced scoring uh, on that side of the court with our Ivan C. Uh, Arvin Ong and Gilbert DiCastro all scoring in double digits 
Uh, and of course, Ronald Wong uh, flirted with a double-double. Nine points and 11 rebounds in only 13 minutes of action. Wow, that's very effective uh, minutes on the floor. 12 on the shot clock here for Grace Christian College alumni. Miss on that one. They reset with seven on the shot clock. But a great steal there by Gilbert Castro. A minute gone by here in the first quarter. It's still 1-0 off of that split from the foul line. The shot no good for Arvin Ong. And here comes Grace Christian College alumni. Tan, the quick pull-up jumper, no good. And the rebound there. Gra gathered by Alex Lau, but ripped away there. And we've got another foul on the floor. And we'd like to thank some of our sponsors that made the Ayaba Tanwai Athletics Cup possible. The Tanwai Athletics, Metro Summit Realty, People's General Insurance, Tough Mama Home and Kitchen Appliances, the Shawarma Shack, Stick O, Davies Paint, Chemical Guys Do It Yourself, Auto Detailing, Auto Plus, Ravenol, and of course the Chinoy Basketball Association. Another empty possession there for PIQC. And here comes Grace Christian College alumni. Francis Chu setting up the play here, trying to... Sanidad, 10 on the shot clock, back to two. Two cross-court pass here to Cloyd Ong. They go inside to Lau, the shot, and he gets fouled from behind there. And it's whistled against Mark Cheng. You know, partner Gilbert Sanidad, I just want to commend him uh, so much because he does not play like a small forward. He yeah. plays like a center. Oh. Grabbing 22 big rebounds in his last game. Yeah, that's a that's an interesting stat from the last game uh, last I believe that was uh, last Wednesday. A split from the foul foul line here for Alex Lau and he could not get his own miss. Here comes Ivan C. Ivan C facing the defense there of uh, Cloyd Ong. They go to the left corner, the jumper inside out. For Mark Cheng. Here comes Grace Christian College. Sanidad against two blue shirts and he gets fouled. And he'll go to the foul line for two more free throws. We are tied at one apiece. And let's take a look at that last play once again through our Metro Summit Realty instant replay and fearless Gilbert Sanidad. But the free throw woes continuing for both squads here. So far, both teams managing splits from the foul line. Kumbaga partner, nagpapagising pa both teams. Kailangan nato ng kape. <laughs> Kailangan ng kape. Yes. Especially for uh, for them being, uh, some of them being hardworking fathers themselves. Of course, and uh, of course, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And all aspiring fathers as well. Yeah. <laughs> Ivan C. Missing that floater in heavy traffic. Gilbert Sanidad. Cross court pass. Cloyd Ong, the jumper, no good. Rebound here, grabbed by Alan Tan. Kicks it out here to Francis Tiu. Tiu. Finds a wide open Cloyd Ong at the corner. Two on the shot clock for Tan. At the buzzer, no good. And the rebound here gathered by Mark Cheng. Mark Cheng gives it up to Christopher Lee. Setting up the play here for PIQC. 15 on the shot clock for Lee. Pulls up from three. No good. Rebound here gathered by Mark Cheng. Resets it. Ten on the shot clock. Trying to find Ong there, but uh, instead goes to Gilbert Castro. With a mismatched pair of Hardens. The floater. No good. And here comes Grace Christian College alumni. Here comes Francis Chu. His pass there intercepted, but we have a foul on the floor. And the foul whistled against Mark Cheng. You know, partner, uh, this is a kind of. Ito na nga. Ito yung sasabihin ko. Albert Chua now checking in for the ball game as yeah. their floor general. Kasi, partner, yes. I remember last game. Oh, no. In their first game of the season, yeah. he was the sixth man. Yes. And I the second game of the season, he started uh -huh. and created an immediate impact for his team. And now. He is back on the bench and Chepre ngayon, spark plug ulit siya for his team. 10 on the shot clock. Chua, wide open, three. Bing, bang, boom for first tough
Mama three-point shot of the ball game, and all of us here in the panel cannot help ourselves but practice his uh, three-point shooting form. It was a beautiful stroke from Albert Chua. And a steal there by Alan Tan. Sanidad on the three-on-four four fast break. Once again, Chua, same spot. No good. Sanidad with the rebound. Try to bounce pass it to Alan Tan, but a kickball violation here on PIQC. I, I noticed this earlier, actually. Uh, Gilbert Castro there with a mismatched pair of James Harden sneakers. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that is a pretty mismatch pair. Tan, nice find inside to Lau. And here comes PIQC. And nice find there to a cutting Ivan C. I'll probably try to approach uh, Gilbert Castro later at halftime to ask uh, if if that's by choice or or something. <laughs> I'm I'm curious. <laughs> I believe it's what you call style. Yeah. <laughs> Fourteen on the shot clock here for Grace Christian College alumni. Sideline inbound there for Cloyd Ong. Once again, they go to Albert Chua. They go to the cross court. Three pointer on the way. No good for Cloyd Ong. Reset here for Grace Christian College alumni. Same spot. Cloyd Ong. Yes, this time around. Another Shooter's tough mama. Shoot. Three point shot. Shooter's gonna shoot. Yeah. And of course, here we see Metro Summit Realty as a replay. The second uh, try here is good for Cloyd that Ong. was Cloyd Ong. And if Yung drill nga, partner. Don't miss two in a row. Yes, and we'll be right back with more third Ayaba and White Athletics Cup action. And we are back with more action here in the third Ayaba Tanboy Athletics Cup. Second game of our five game set this Sunday, Father's Day special. And it's an 8 to 3 advantage for Grace Christian College after that slow start between the two teams. They were tied early at one apiece from uh, splits from the foul line and an aggressive attack there by Raniel C. But uh, we've got a violation on, on that play. Yeah, and of course, GCC here disrupting the offensive rhythm of PIQC as they implemented, after that timeout, a pressure, a, a full court pressure rather. Sanidad launching three, no good. And the rebound gathered by Arvin Ong. Ong, nice find to a streaking Gilbert Castro, but he could not get a, a handle of that Spalding leather. And we see here the entry of Jeff Chua for the first time this ball game, replacing Cloyd Ong. Again, Cloyd Ong there. Nice stroke. Shooters got to shoot. But also Albert Chua. Instant offense off the bench here for Grace Christian College. They go to Chua. Long two. Hits the side of the board. Here comes PIQC. Arvin Ong. Ooh, great body control in uh, evading that uh, Albert Chua defense, but we have a whistle on the floor, a pushing pa foul though. Whistled against Raniel C. You know, partner, uh, for the white shirts here, they need to uh, play faster because this is not their tempo. Yeah. But of course, still, the half-court sets is, play is paying dividends for them uh, early in this ball game. But of course, uh, six minutes into uh, the game, Palantayo, too early to say. Chua launches the three, short. Sanidad with the rebound. Again, playing like a center there, go gobbling up those rebounds. And a miscue there by Nino Sia, fresh from the bench for Grace Christian College alumni. Here comes PIQC, De La Cruz. Another insertion for uh, Coach Paul Yoon, and there is a whistle on the floor. 
A holding foul there on Albert Chua. Three and a half remaining here in the first quarter. Sonny De La Cruz inbounding it to Gilbert Castro. Castro with seven to work with. Castro hands it off to Ong. Ong there trying to evade the defense. Castro with one of the shot clock from the foul line. No good. And Sanidad once again crashing the boards. You know, partner, he reminds me of the prime Calvin Abueva. Wow. Actually, uh, you're right there, partner. I'm, I am seeing a little bit of the beast there. A nice find underneath to Sanidad. Great find by Nino Sia. Ball movement here has been a premium for Grace Christian College alumni. De La Cruz. Great shot by Lee. No good. It rims out for Christian Lee. First attempt of the ball game. Here comes Albert Chua. This time returning the favor to Sia, but no. Two and a half remaining. Here comes Gilbert Castro. The shot, no good. It leaves it short. Loose ball there, recovered by PISQC, but it goes out of bounds off of Sonny De La Cruz. And we have a substitution on the floor here. Entering the ball game for the first time, William Tan checking Alex with uh, Alex Lau checking out of the ball game. And PIQC here stuck at three points for most of the first quarter. But of course, you have to commend the defense of uh, Grace Christian College since they uh, executed a good full court press. And sending that there, getting the rebound, getting the put back, you know, doing those little things for Grace Christian College. I told you, Sanidad, he's a he's the beast <laughs> doing everything on the floor Castro a little bit far off from distance here but we have a foul off of the basketball and it's a pushing foul there whistled against uh, William Tan a minute and 39 remaining Greece Christian College they caught a, a big win last Wednesday against Alumni Association of Xavier School in a rematch of last year's 40-up uh, division finals early on in the season. It was a revenge game for GCC right there. And the shot clock buzzer goes off and PIQC called for that 24-second violation. Re-entering the ball game is Christopher Lee replacing Gilbert Castro, who gets a well-deserved rest. But again, PIQC still stuck at three points through most of this quarter. Chua gives it up to Sanidad. Back to Chua. And his uh, entry pass kicked out by Ronald Wong. Kickball violation there for PIQC. Once again, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors that made the Ayaba Tanwai Athletics Cup possible. Tanwai Athletics, Metro Summit Realty, People's General Insurance, and wow, Tough Mama! Three-point basket there for Grace Christian College, courtesy of uh, Jeff Chua. Less than a minute remaining here in the first quarter, and the rebound gathered there by Albert Chua. Ooh, and that pass there sailing out of bounds from uh, William Tan. And uh, more of our sponsors, the Shawarma Shack Stick, oh, Davies Paints, Auto Plus, Chemical Guys, Do-It-Yourself Auto Detailing, Ravenol, and of course, the Chinoy Basketball Association. Less than 30 seconds left for PIQC here to make something out of uh, this possession. Lee, the jumper. No good. And the rebound there, gathered by William Tan. The struggles continuing here for PIQC. Still very cold on a sunny morning here for PIQC. Seven seconds on the game clock. Last shot time here for Grace Christian College alumni. Lim, the shot at the buzzer. A bit off to the right. And at the end of the first 10 minutes of action, it's a 12-point advantage here 
for Grace Christian College alumni. And we see here once again that Albert threw a three-pointer and we are practicing his form like crazy here at the panel. Once again, Grace Christian College, after that slow start to the quarter, uh, they were able to they're able to recover and uh, make this into a one-sided affair so far. 15 to 3 is our count at the end of the first 10 minutes of action. We'll be right back with more Ayaba Tanwai Athletics Cup action. back with second quarter of action here in the Ayaba Tanwai Athletics Cup. Second quarter between PIQC and Grace Christian College alumni. Yagada passed together with Greg Celia on the call. Grace Christian College alumni with a 12 point advantage here, 15 to 3 and Greg so far the, the action here has been uh, one-sided in favor of Grace especially that we're seeing here that the uh, PIQC has been misfiring. Yeah, of course uh, and GCC here, what they've been doing so far uh, in the first 10 minutes of action is their crisp passing is actually paying dividends because you know when you get a hold of the ball, when you get a good uh, touch and a good feel of what's happening and basically pag nahawakan mo yung bola, it's basically confidence builder for everyone on the court. And as we see here as Albert Chua being the floor general that he is for his team, uh, he distributes the ball so well and lahat sila nakakahawak doon. And there's a foul on the floor against uh, Grace Christian College alumni. Only one field goal, by the way, for PIQC in that uh, first quarter of action. And a split on the foul line, forming their three points so far. A shot missed there by Raniel C, but a put back there by Christian Lee, I believe. You know, partner, this is where PIQC should capitalize on. Uh, you know, in their game against Yongsei Academy, uh, they converted 19 second chance points. So, here in this game, it's a, it's a very good indication that they've been rebounding so well. Unfortunately, they're not hitting their shots so far. Great drive there by Albert Chua, getting that foul on Raniel C. Let's take a look at that one more time in our Metro Summit Realty Instant Replay. Gliding through the air with the greatest of ease, the daring young man on the flying trapeze. Bar. Nine minutes. Bars. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> Albert Chua at the foul line for two shots. First free throw is good. Chua making a th that uh, three-point basket earlier that, uh, that uh, left an impression on us uh, panelists here at the sideline. Goes two for two. So 2 for 2 from the foul line, uh, 1 for 2 so far from 3 point field goals is uh, Albert Chua. And we'll see the entry here 
of Dexter Kwan, who's also part of the 48 Up uh, team of Grace Christian College alumni. Yan ang masipag. Yes. Dexter Kwan, the energy guy. Yes, sir. For the 48 Up uh, reigning champions. Here comes Raniel C. Gives it up to De Christian Lee. Turnaround shot, no good. And goes out of bounds, still in favor of uh, PIQC. 12 seconds on the shot clock for the blue shirts of PIQC. Inbound pass to Wong. Wong the shot, no good. Rebound there by Dexter Kwan, the hard worker of uh, Grace Christian College alumni. Chua, the spin, the turnaround shot. Oh, nice, nifty move there for Jeff Chua. This is the pace that I've been talking about uh, regarding the white shirts. They play fast on their feet, partner. C, launching the three. No good. Long rebound there by Albert Chua. Here comes Albert Chua. Great drop pass there, but there is a foul first before that pass. That is just the second, the first team foul rather on PIQC this quarter. And it's called on Raymond C. Raniel C rather, number three of PIQC. And we see here the return of Gilbert Castro replacing uh, Raniel C. 14 on the 24 here for Grace Christian College alumni. Albert Chua getting the pick here from William Tan. Five on the shot clock. Chua, the jumper does not trickle in, but Dexter Kwan there with the re rebound. The reset for Jeff Chua missing that three-pointer. And quickly up ahead there, a little bit uh, too long for Christopher Lee together i believe those leak out passes is not working for them so far actually uh in the first quarter of action uh they've had two opportunities of that same particular play in which the same result happened they threw the ball away there so in this quarter and for this game to be competitive in the first half they need to stop uh playing sloppy basketball and they have to like you know build a little bit of team chemistry on the floor nine on the shot clock and a near turnover there. William Tan trying to give it up to Dexter Kwan in the low block. But it's eight, sec eight seconds on the shot clock here for Grace Christian College alumni. Quick pass. Tan, the knockout play there for William Tan off that inbound pass. He caught the ball there over two defenders. Again, the struggle continues here for PIQC. Only two field goals. In this ball game so far, one field goal here in the second. And a steal here by Erwin Lim. Lim, great layup there against the defense of Christopher Lee. GCC here building a very comfortable lead uh, early in this ball game. This can actually this can actually, you know, uh, turn into a breathing room in the second half for them. Dexter Kwan getting that miss by Ivan C. It's a four on two fast break. No good on that layup. The putback is good though for Ronald Lim. And it's now a 20 point lead here for Grace Christian College alumni, just like that. The white shirts here being very comfortable uh, converting on transition, in transition rather. And it just shows in the scoreboard. And there's a blocking foul on that play called on Erwin Lim. And we have a pair of substitutions here, Sonny De La Cruz and uh, Derek Tan coming in for Coach uh, Paul Yun. 14 on the shot clock here, they go to Christian Lee. Back to the inbounder, Christopher Lee. Seven on the shot clock for the Blue Shirts. Great defensive stance here by Ronald Lim. Great inch of separation there for uh, Christopher Lee, but missing on that jumper. Here comes GCC alumni, Chua. That wild layup missing that one in transition and it will stay with PIQC with 21 on their shot clock. 
nearing the halfway point of our second quarter. De La Cruz facing the tough defense here of Irwin Lim. De La Cruz trying to split the defense. They go to the corner here. Inside to Christian Lee, no good. Nice pass though by uh, Derek Tan. And here comes Kwan. No good. Dexter Kwan a bit too strong on that floater. And here comes Gilbert Castro. Castro, they go inside to Lee. They kick it out for a three-pointer on the way. Short for Christopher Lee. Second chance is good there for Christian Lee. 25-7. to seven. Just the third field goal of the ball game here for PIQC. Chua missing the three attempt. No good. And uh, Dexter Kwan with the hustle play. They could have got the corner here, Erwin Lim, but he gets a blocking foul there called on Derek Tan. You know, partner for PIQC, I believe they should be uh, creating more action on the offensive end. They should uh, start swinging the basketball a little bit more. There should be cuts, there should be screens, there should be dribble handoffs, plays. Because, you know, w when you pass it to practically no one, like, pag inahabol ng bola yung tao, mahirap yun. Yes. Lim, the jumper, with the shot clock running down, no good. And those are interesting points, uh, partner, especially that uh, PIQC here really needs to regroup and regroup quickly with them down here by uh, 18. Look at this, no one is cutting. Yeah, no one's moving here. No one's and moving here. Ong with the three, no good. It's a very stagnant offense so far for PIQC, but wow. there on the inside and, block. Yeah, great That's steal. And, where they're great steal and basket there for Christopher Lee. So again, stagnant offense, but but you know, they they have uh, they have their moments though. Yeah. Uh, over the course of the game so far, they, they've been showing hustle. Just no action here so far. Tan on the shot clock here. Tan with the one-legged jumper a la Dirk Nowitzki for William Tan. I <laughs> thought retired na si Dirk. Nandito pala siya sa Pilipinas. 27-9 to nine is our count. Still in favor of uh, GCC alumni. Lee. Seven on the shot clock here for PIQC. Ong, the running jumper, no good off the glass. Christian Lee gets the rebound and a fresh 14. Here comes De La Cruz. Got, gets his pocket pick, but there's a kickball violation called there against Alexander Tan. And we have a pair of substitutions here. Alan Tan and Alex Lau, both starters here for Grace Christian College alumni, returning to the ball game. 14 on the shot clock here for PIQC. Inbound to be triggered here by Sonny De La Cruz. Derek Tan tried to give it up to De La Cruz. And great active hands here by Alex Lau. Dexter Kwan. Oh, correction, that's uh, Alexander Tan. They go to Irwin Lim. Dexter Kwan, the long two, no good. And it sails out of bounds in favor of PIQC. Okay, we've already we've already touched the uh, base here on uh, how how PIQC could improve their performance throughout this ball game. But what has GCC alumni done right so far in this ball game? Oh, you know, partner, they are absolutely showing in sync type of basketball here. They're showing effective, but of course, uh, careful defense on their pressure D, which then disrupts the dribble drive offense uh, of PIQC, therefore, which results also in the stagnant uh, action there. And of course, itong mabilisan na transition offense for the white shirts here is definitely working. Kasi ito yung pace nila. This is their style. This is their team identity. So this is where they're capitalizing on. And a shot block there on that attempt by Christopher Lee by Alex Lau, stopping this uh, PIQC run. More like a PIQC offense in transition. 12 on the shot clock here for PIQC. Lee, foul line jumper, no good still. And the rebound here gathered by Alan Tan. Here comes Dexter Kwan. Dexter Kwan kicks it out to Irwin Lim. Back to Kwan, left corner jumper, no good. And a long rebound there gathered by Mark Cheng. 
Two minutes remaining here in the second quarter. And a whole, oh, a traveling violation. Called there on Sonny De La Cruz doing the two-step on the boogie. It's an 18-point advantage here for Grace Christian College alumni with two minutes remaining. And PIQC here needs a lot of uh, talking to do at the halftime break if they want to make a, a spirited a second half run here. The rebound gathered there by Christopher Lee. Oh, and a steal there by Lau, but that pass a little bit too high for Alantan to get. Oh, PIQC here has to secure the basketball in order for them to get a good uh, feel of the game so far. Ong, three-pointer missed, and the long rebound there gathered by Ronald Wong. Uh, correction, that's a... Uh, yeah, it's Ronald Wong. Uh, Raniel C, rather. And now it's off to Christopher Lee. Three-pointer on the way. Bing, bang, boom. All important three-point there. Three, uh, tough Mama three-point shot there for uh, Christopher Lee and PIQC. And now they break the 10-point barrier, 27-12 to 12 with under a minute remaining. Grace Christian College alumni here. Lim from three rattles out. Dexter Kwan with the rebound, this time from the right corner, no good. Third possession here for Grace Christian College alumni of those offensive rebounds. This is the breathing room that you have when you have when you build up an early lead in the game. Even if you miss, it's fine. You can grab the rebounds, but we next play. Mark Chang trying to set up the play here. He gets the ball back. Three-pointer on the way. Short. Dexter Kwan with the rebound. Down to the last 20 seconds of the quarter. Nice baseball pass to Tan. Nice no-look play. Oh, everything but the shot for Alexander Tan from that nice pass from Alan Tan. Three sons remaining. Lee, no good. And that ends our second quarter of action. 27-12, to 12, Grace Christian College alumni. Really turning up the heat here as we see our first half highlights, courtesy of Metro Summit Realty. What can we say here, Greg? Ambilis maglaro na GCC and it's yes. paying dividends for them. Wow. <laughs> here, the Dirk Nowitzki shot. From right William there, Tan, from, yeah. From William Tan. Uh, basically, kahit magkaroon sila ng konting mess on the offensive side, it's practically fine for them since they're sitting comfortably on a 15-point lead. Uh, early in this ball game. And we'll be back with more action as well as halftime analysis here in the third Ayaba Tanwai Athletics Cup.
And we are back with third quarter of action live from the Aero Center in Quezon City. Grace Christian College Alumni 27, Philippine Institute of Quezon City Alumni 12. And action here in the Ayaba Tanwai Athletics Cup is brought to you by Tanwai Athletics, Metro Summit Realty, People's General Insurance, Tough Mama Home and Kitchen Appliances, The Shawarma Shack, Sticko Davies Paints, Auto Plus, Ravenol, Chemical Guys, Do It Yourself, Auto Detailing, the Chinoy Basketball Association, and of course, all of our games live here at the Aero Center in Kazan City. Every Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And we have a uh, five game Sunday today. This is the second of, of our Father's Day special. PIQC here trying to regroup. And a little bit better on their offense here. They're moving better without the ball so far. Seven on the shot clock. Here comes Christopher Lee. Top of the key. Castro, the step inside. No good. And he gets his own miss. Still no go. And uh, Greg, uh, let's take, let's uh, talk about uh, some of our stats from the halftime break. Oh, you know, partner, in the first half of action, the main storyline so far is the turnover uh, from both teams. Uh, with nine being committed by PIQC and only two by GCC, which then uh, the white shirts here are capitalizing on uh, in transition. And of course, we would also have to commend both teams. Uh, it is a close fight in the rebounding department, pero uh, malamig sa two-point field goals. Ang um, blue shirts here with converting only 19% of their shots. Wow, and that, is, that is a paltry number there. Yeah, actually, uh, if you look at it, they only converted 4 out of 21. Yeah. Again, they only made one field goal in the first quarter. That, yeah. that makes it uh, more interesting here for PIQC. And to make things worse for the Blue Shirts here in the first half is that they only had one assist oh. for two quarters of action. So oh, they, they've not been... Ball movement was bad. Ball movements was bad. Uh, stagnant offense was, was dominating their pace. And on the other hand... Transition offense and pressure defense on the side of the white shirts has been working wonders for for them. Gilbert Sanidad missing that one. Rebound by Lau. Two minutes gone by here in the third quarter. Tan, the drive, the shot. And he gets fouled. And two more free throws on the way here for Grace Christian College alumni. And the foul whistle there against Mark Cheng. As we see here in our... Uh, Metro Summit Realty Instant Replay Great drive to the basket by Alan Tan Partner, you know, I also noticed that the bench points is malak yung difference when uh, the bench points with GCC con uh, having 18 bench points uh, compared to the Blue Shirts 6 oh. So, mas marami talaga ang spark plug mas maraming offensive guns and weapons ang Grace Christian College and I believe it translates uh, sa kanilang history as a team. Because uh, ba last season they end they, they finished the season uh, in place. the finals. Yeah, second place to uh, Alumni Association of Savior School. So definitely the championship poise and experience there with Grace Christian College and Sanidad in transition for two, extending this lead to 20, 32 to 12. And here comes PIQC. Set shot three on the way. No good. And the rebound there gathered by GCC. And once again, Sanidad in the open lane. But he gets blocked there by Christopher Lee. You know, a little bit better offense and defense here this quarter for PIQC. But they're not able to convert though so far. They're still stuck at 12 in the first thir three minutes of the third quarter. What's commendable for the Blue Shirts so far here in the third quarter is that uh, they've been running up and down uh, the floor compared to what, what's happening in the first half. Seven on the shot clock. The three-point shot on the way, no good. And the rebound gathered by Mark Cheng. Rainel C. Trying to direct offense here. C. Kills his dribble. Gives it up to Mark Cheng. 10 on the shot clock. Cross court pass but back to C. And he bobbles that ball. Could not get that pass. The cross court pass from Mark Cheng. 
Oh, nice defense here being played by GCC. Uh, contra dito kay Ivan C. Who's there? Uh, who is the PIQC's uh, main offensive weapon? So, yung box one coverage nila really disrupts the offensive ryth rhythm of PIQC. Three on the shot clock here for the white shirts. Three pointer on the way. No good. And Sanidad once again. Wow. This guy. Yes. This guy. He's like, he's like a Dennis Rodman with scoring. May magnet ba sa kamay niya, partner? Parang eh. <laughs> the ball always falls into his hands. What can we say about this guy? He, he can anticipate where the ball lands. 34 to 12. 22 point advantage here. And the rebound there gathered by Alan Tan. Francis Tiu quickly to uh, Gilbert Sanidad. Back to Tiu. Kick out pass here to Ong. And now it goes off to Alex Lau. Ong for three. No good for Cloyd Ong. And the transition play here for PIQC. And it finally results in offense here for Christopher Lee. You know, partner, in the game of basketball, if you score your first two points off the half through the five-minute mark of the quarter, it's a bad sign. And a steal here by Reno C. Here comes the transition offense of PIQC. Nice find to Lee. The hoop. The harm. Three-point play the hard way for PIQC. And they scored their first four points of the second half here. That was a quick turnaround for them. And they need more of this if they want to keep up with the pace of GCC. 18-point advantage here for Grace Christian College alumni. Halfway point of the third quarter. Christopher Lee with 10 points in the ball game. Make that 11. So Christopher Lee here, I believe, is the first uh, man here for PIQC in double digits. Uh, yes, partner. Actually, in the first half, he scored uh, six points carrying his team. Uh, he scored half yeah. of his team score. Nine on the shot clock here for GCC alumni. Broken play here for the white shirts. Tan, the drive. Gets the ball top. He recovers the shot. And there is a foul there underneath the basket. So that will mean two shots from the 4.5 meter line. As you see here, our Metro Summit Realty instant replay. Look at that uh, play there by uh, Alan Tan. Not giving up on that one. And he fishes that foul from Ivan C. You know, partner, when you're down the block, uh, especially when you're a defender inside the paint, you should not be playing defense solely with your hands. You should be playing with your uh, defense with your body. Uh, you should be banging bodies inside the paint, making your presence felt, uh, making your length felt there. Pero siyempre, huwag kang tatapik. Yes. Kasi delikado yun eh. Basically, smart defense. You should be playing smart defense, playing especially smart. inside the paint. Yeah, smart defense, especially moving, uh, moving your entire body. And there's a steal by GCC alumni. What a shot there. Wow. Time zone-like shot. Unselfish basketball for once again for Joshua. GCC. Another steal here for GCC. Chua, shovel pass to Tan, and he gets fouled on the way to the basket. You know what? What's amazing here is uh, Grace Christian College alumni's ball movement and also the movement without the ball. As we see here in our Metro Summit Realty instant replay, Albert Chua unselfish, giving it up to Alan Tan who was streaking to the basket in that fast break opportunity. What we can see so far in their game is that they really trust each other. They have no problem making extra passes and looking for a much wide open man. Because they know for a fact that everyone can score, therefore they're balanced scoring. And you know, Albert Chua, he's a great offensive weapon for them. Pero he decides to be the floor general. He decides to distribute the ball and create offense just like that. Albert Chua, the steal and the layup there. Great anticipation on that pass to uh, Christopher Lee. Pressure yeah, defense once again uh, being implemented here by the white shirts. Christopher Lee now with uh, 12 points in the ball game with that jumper, 41 to 19. A commanding lead here by GCC alumni. Chua, nice find to Sanidad. Sanidad with the reverse layup and he gets blocked. 
But you know what? You know what? Uh, GCC here has already created their momentum earlier on in the ball game, and looks like they're not letting go. They have. Uh, they've made their presence felt uh, since the first quarter, actually. As that is number 28 for GCC. Nino Sia. Nino Sia with a big boy move down below. Yeah, the turnaround shot and hook shot. It's good. And De La Cruz gets fouled there by Albert Chua. Three minutes and 20 remaining here. And let's take a look at that last play, courtesy of Metro Summit Realty. Uh, Albert Chua there caught off possession off of that drive by Sonny De La Cruz. Sending him to the foul line for two shots. First trickles in. First point of the ball game here for Sonny De La Cruz. And it's a free throw violation there by Sonny De La Cruz. 23 point advantage here for Grace Christian College alumni. And the body language here, I think, says it all the way that uh, Grace Christian College alumni is relaxed in their offense and on defense. They're confident, they're relaxed, they're so poised in executing their offensive game plan. And Five. here you see, everyone is comfortable to shoot a shot. Because they know Gilbert said that would be there to get the <laughs> rebound. Seven on the shot clock here. Nice find inside. And there is a foul. That's the fourth team foul on PIQC. Nice find, though, to Alan Tan from Albert Chua, by the way. That bullet pass inside the shaded lane. Kumbaga sa 2K partner, meron siyang dimer badge. Ah, <laughs> I'm not a 2K gamer, so I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Alan Tan gets his pocket picked here. And on the offense here is Ronald Wong, and there's a foul. And the foul was called there on Nino Sia. Second personal on Nino Sia. A 23 point advantage here for Grace Christian College alumni. With two and a half remaining here in the third. Wong makes the first of two. Coming up next, by the way, after this ball game, it will be Tiongse Academy against St. Peter the Apostles School in our. In the third game of our five-game five set this Father's Day. Two out of two for Wong there from the foul line for PIQC. Down to a 21-point advantage here for Grace Christian College alumni. Nino Sia, pound dribble, gives it up to Chua. Chua, top of the key three. Short. And the rebound here, gathered by the smallest guy, uh, De La Cruz, but... Quickly swiped away by Gilbert Sanidad, but his pass stolen away by Ronald Wong. Wow, what a shot there by Lee, getting his uh, defender off of his shoes. And that will mean two foul shots. Let's take a look at that. Metro Summit Realty instant replay. Christopher nice Lee. showing there. off the ball right there for uh, Christopher Lee. And I believe that is the third personal foul of Albert Chua. But, but you know what? That, that's basic basketball for you, that, uh, that fake and uh, shot attempt by Christopher Lee. I think that's uh, one of, I guess, uh, a lost art already. It just shows great patience yeah. uh, on, for Christopher Lee there, waiting for his defender uh, to get up on his feet and capitalizing on... Uh, he caught his person off guard there. Put back shot there by Christian Lee, no good. And the ball goes out of bounds. And Grace Christian College alumni with two minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Chance to extend this 20-point uh, advantage. Chua, second, trying to get his second three-pointer of the ball game, no good. Nino Sia, the shot up, no good for Sanidad. Sanidad gets his own miss. The jumper on the way, it's good from the left corner. This time from Jeff Chua. You know, partner, Sunny Dad has no problem shooting the basketball because Sunny Dad knows that Sunny Dad would be <laughs> rebounding the ball as well. See, the left corner jumper, and we have another foul on the floor. Both teams already in penalty. That will mean two foul shots for PIQC. Yeah. 
Christian Lee to the foul line for PIQC. First free throw is good for Christian Lee. Two for two for Christian Lee from the foul line. Cutting this def deficit back to 20. Jeff Shua launching a three. In and out. And there's a foul on the rebounding play. And that will mean two foul shots. Both teams already in penalty, as I said earlier. A very costly foul committed here by uh, PIQC sending. That is William Tan to the line for two freebies. Yeah, that last foul on Ronald Wong. Speaking of last, that's the last thing they need uh, to climb up the yeah. scoreboard here in this ball game. Yeah, that, that is a tough break there for PAQC. Although, you know what, uh, so far out of the three quarters, this is one of their best showing. This is their best showing so far. But again, they're down by 22 here. They have, they have been trading baskets, and there are times that they've made miscues that uh, brought them down here in this quarter. 10 on the shot clock here. Christopher Lee, 4-3. Yes, sir! All important, ma uh, tough mama three-point basket there for PIQC. 40 seconds remaining. The drive, the kick out to Nino Sia. And trying to answer back with a three, no good. Chua with the putback, it's good for Jeff Chua. Second chance points here, paying dividends uh, for GCC. Aside from their transition offense, this is where uh, they're good at offensive rebounding, uh, converting off that second bounce. And basically, they have a 21 point lead, a pretty comfortable lead for them. Now 19. Yeah, Christian Lee. Making that basket with 5.4 remaining here in the third quarter. Here comes Albert Chua quickly to the side of the floor. Oh, off the glass at the buzzer. Let's take a look. The referees will take a look first at that last uh, attempt if that will be good. Let's take a look at that uh, Metro Summit Realty Instant Replay here on Albert Chua. From our vantage point, though, we saw that it was uh, good. But our, our referees uh, will, will once again uh, take a look at that uh, slow-mo replay. But so far, so far, Greg, uh, I noticed that, that GCC, uh, they've, been, they've been withstanding all of those uh, PIQC attacks. Uh Nagpapalitan lang sila ng basket, especially yes. in the third uh, quarter of action. As we see here is the highlights. It's pretty. It's a pretty much back and forth action for both teams. Uh, but of course, we'd also have to commend PIQC for rallying and showing that they can score. Uh huh. And this has been uh, pretty much their best quarter so far in this game. Pero siyempre ibang caliber itong GCC, showing that they can convert from outside inside and even the mid-range and especially in team identity they've been converting on fast break opportunities and second chance points 51 to 30 in favor of grace christian college alumni over piqc we'll be back with fourth quarter of action when we, when we return here in the third ayaba tandwai athletics cup back with the final 10 minutes of action in the second game of our Sunday five-game set here in the 40-up division of the Ayaba Tandoy Athletics Cup 
presented to you by Tanvai Athletics, Metro Summit Realty, People's General Insurance, Tough Mama Home and Kitchen Appliances, the Shawarma Shack, Stick O Davies Paints, Chemical Guys, do it yourself, Auto Detailing, Auto Plus, Ravenol, and the Chinari Basketball Association. As we see our first Tough Mama three point shot of the fourth quarter, courtesy of PIQC. 51-33 is our score. You know, partner with Christopher Lee converting with another three-point jumper and stealing the ball there. He needs help. This guy needs help on the scoring department. But, of course, thanks to Ivan C., uh, they scored five quick points here in the first minute of the fourth quarter. Nine minutes remaining here in our ball game. Here comes Albert Chua. Kicks it out. Three-pointer on the way. Short. And the rebound there gathered by Christian Lee that last missed by Jeff Chua. And uh, a careless turnover there by Ivan C. Here comes Grace Christian College alumni. Albert Chua, long three on the way. Bing! Bang! Boom! For GCC. And that was another tough mama three-point shot. The first one this fourth quarter for Grace Christian College alumni. C, launching the three. No good. And here comes GCC alumni. And the pass there intended for Alexander Tan. He does not receive that one. And here comes PIQC. Rainiel C, asking for, for a little bit of help there. And he got stuck in the backcourt great pressure defense there by albert chua and of course uh the offensive players there know na yung defense is really disrupting their offensive rhythm and you they cannot orchestrate offense especially kapag yung pressure defense the full court press uh being implemented here by coach uh danilo Cheng for the gcc is working wonders for them on the defensive end Nino Sia missing that three, but a second opportunity here. Chua, same spot for three, no good. And a third serving on the offense here for Grace Christian College alumni. This time, Albert Chua with isolation play. Bounce pass here. Great drive to the basket. The, the shot trickles in for Jeff Chua. Patient and unselfish basketball here being showcased by the white shirts, Grace Christian College. Therefore, ang laki ng kalamangan nila, 21. Seven minutes and a half remaining here in this ball game. Ten on the shot clock here for PIQC. Ronald Wong makes his move, drives. He gets fouled there by Nino Sia. That's the fourth on Nino Sia, possibly. We'll, we'll double check that one as we see our Metro Summit Realty instant replay. Great drive to the basket here by Ronald Wong fishes that foul this move by Ronald Wong just shows na back in his heyday back in his prime years magulang talaga maglaro yung binababa yung shoulder to create contact and of course shooting after feeling the body of your defender therefore the foul first free throw is good there for Ronald Wong 20-point lead here for GCC alumni. 2-4-2 two two goes Wong and, and cuts this deficit to 19. And Ronald Wong will take a seat on the bench. Replacing him will be Arvin Ong, so the starting power forward for PIQC. Albert Chua calling for Dexter Kwan to stay in the middle. Tan. The long two, short. The rebound there gathered by Mark Cheng. And here comes Ong against three white shirts. No, but the putback there by Mark Cheng, and he will get rewarded for his hustle with a trip to the pressure cooker. Metro <laughs> <laughs> Summit Realty Instant Replay showing that last play, Cheng. Actually, I think uh, that the term pressure cooker as the uh, description to a, for a foul shot of being sent to the foul line, that's uh, more in pressure pack situations though, but, but still, with them trying to make a comeback here, they need 
to make those shots from the foul line. Pressure is still on them, partner, as a, I don't know, they, they need to score in this ball game. Dexter Kwan, we know him as that, we know him as that uh, prime rebounder for uh, Grace Christian College. Gets that offensive rebound and the foul as well here in our Metro Summit Realty instant replay. And there's a reach and foul whistled there against Christopher Lee. He's really the energy guy for GCC. Uh, grabbing offensive boards, being vocal on defense, and even holding his ground against uh, the big men of the Blue Shirts. Kwan makes one for two for his uh, first point of the ball game. PIQC here. Down by 19. 12 on the shot clock. Three pointer on the way. No good for Ivan C. And the rebound there gathered by Dexter Kwan. Quickly up court. Oh, nice find underneath. But Alexander Tan could not make the basket underneath. Here comes PIQC. Lee. The step and the swipe Sneaky there. Sneaky defense. Wow. Albert Chua. Yeah, what a swipe from behind by Albert Chua. The what can we say about uh, Albert Chua? The very, very sneaky, spectacled man here for Grace Christian College alumni. And we have a timeout on the floor with 5.56 remaining in the ball game. We'll be right back. We are back with more action here from the third Ayaba Tanwai Athletics Cup, 40 up division. Race Christian College, you know, barring an, a miracle of epic proportions. Last time I said that, the game nearly went into overtime. <laughs> but, no but, lead but, is comfortable <laughs> enough. Yeah, <laughs> barring a miracle of epic proportions. Uh, looks like they are headed for their third straight victory to start their season. Shot is up and no good for Ronald Lim. Dexter Kwan with another rebound. Albert Chua, the isolation play. Driving with six on the shot clock. They go to the corner. Another shot from the left corner. No good. Albert Chua with the rebound there off of that Ronald Lim miss. But no dice on that possession. Here comes PIQC. Another two from Christopher Lee. Again, you're saying, you were saying earlier he needs help, but uh, looks like he has to help himself here. Yeah, you know, Christopher Lee has been carrying the offensive load uh, for the Blue Shirts. I believe he has almost half of their team score. And Chempre, they also have to convert on the three-point shots, uh, more fast break opportunities, and especially on the defensive end. They need to give pressure to the White Shirts. Cloyd Ong checking into the ball game, replacing Albert Chua. Well-deserved rest here for Albert Chua. C, launching the three. No good. The rebound here by Alex Lau. And here comes Dexter Kwan. Great, great cut to the basket and receiving that entry pass from Cloyd Ong. And he will go to the 4.5 meter line. As you see that uh, last play here in our Metro Summit Realty instant replay. Great uh, Euro step there by Dexter Kwan. He was just smothered by two blue shirts there. And you know, one thing about Dexter Kwan, his relentless uh, drive to the basket, he's been aggressive all game, he's been grabbing boards. And of course, he's been throwing fouls, and just like that, he's been converting also on the 4.5 meter line. 59-40, 90 point advantage here for the white shirts of Grace Christian College alumni. 14 on the shot clock here for PIQC. Great bounce pass inside, the shot blocked there. And here comes GCC alumni. Ronald Lim loses the handle. Here comes Ivan C. Ivan C, the step, the layup. It's good in transition here for PIQC. And it's down to a 17 point advantage here for GCC. 14 on the shot clock here. Cloyd Ong, nice find inside. 
to Alex Lau, but no go. And here comes Christopher Lee once again. Four minutes remaining. And it's down to a 15-point lead for GCC alumni. We'll be right back for the conclusion of this ball game after we see this instant replay courtesy of Metro Summit Realty. We'll be back with more action. We are back with more action from courtside here at the Aero Center in Quezon City for the continuing 40-up division of the Ayaba Tanvoy Athletics Cup presented to you by Tanvoy Athletics, Metro Summit Realty, People's General Insurance, Tough Mama Home and Kitchen Appliances, the Shawarma Shack, Stick O, Chemical Guys, Do-It-Yourself Auto Detailing, Davies Paints, Auto Plus, Ravenol, and of course the Chinoy Basketball Association, Cloyd Ong missing that cup, top of the key three, but Dexter Kwan with the rebound. Handoff pass to Cloyd Ong here. Five on the shot clock. Dexter Kwan, nice find to Sanidad. Wow, extra passes, unselfish play for GCC alumni. You know, partner, despite uh, GCC alumni scoring 61 points already, as I've looked into the stats of both teams, I noticed na sobrang balance ng scoring nila. No one uh, scored more than 12 points other wow. than, uh, I believe, it was just... Albert Chua scoring 12 points for the team and uh, all other players scoring 6, 8, uh, 4 respectively. And on the other side of the court, Christopher Lee scoring 25 out 29. of 44 uh, wow. for PIQC. Wow, more than half of the points by PIQC all with one man and that's Christopher Lee. Nice find inside there by uh, Cloyd Ong to Alan Tan, but Alan Tan could not get a handle of that leather. Here comes Christopher Lee and the corner. 14 on the shot clock, and PIQC is stuck at the corner here. Nice drop pass underneath. What a shot in heavy traffic for Arvin Ong. Gilbert Sanidad quickly nearly gets fouled there, but great defense there by PIQC. Sanidad resets. 12 on the shot clock, does not kill the dribble, but instead gives it up to Cloyd Ong. Tan, kick out pass here to Francis Tiu. Tried to put up a shot, one on the shot clock for Sunny Dad, does not fall in. And here comes PIQC, Sunny De La Cruz. Nice handoff pass to Christopher Lee for the deuce. They've been feeding Christopher Lee uh, all game long. Another steal there by De La Cruz, but does not score that layup. And here comes Gilbert Salinad, one on two, fast break. Nice pass to Tan for two, Alan Tan. And we are down to the last two minutes, midnight hours of this ball game. You know, partner, if you only have one person scoring double digits for your team, it's going to be a long night for you. A minute 43 remaining, and yes, it's going to be tough. If you only have one top scorer and, you, and you're having trouble getting a scoring from the other players. And it's a 24-second violation for PIQC. Down by 15, al although manageable, as they say, the, the sands in the hourglass already ticking down for the blue shirts of PIQC. And I believe that is it. Uh, PIQC is raising their white flag, taking... Uh, Christopher Lee out of the ball game with one minute and 30 seconds remaining. Lau inside the shaded lane, defended by two blue shirts, and he loses the handle. And there's a foul on the play. And also, Grace Christian College alumni already pulling out their starters and uh, key guys as well. We see the, the return of Nino Sia in the ball game together with William Tan, Alan Tan, and Cloyd Ong. And a turnover there by PIQC with a minute 13 remaining. And uh, 
So far, um, so far, Greg, uh, what's what's your final thoughts on this uh, master class of a win here by the still undefeated uh, Grace uh, Christian College alumni? This is the epitome of defense turning into offense. Uh, they've been converting, uh, grabbing steals rather. Uh, they've been securing the basketball on the defensive end, and they've been converting those uh, opportunities into points on the fast break. Cloyd Ong with a tough mama three-point shot and another one here for Ivan C. Back-to-back -back, tough mama three-point shots on both ends of the floor here. Down to the last 40 uh, seconds of the ball game. Tan, no good on that 15-foot jumper. Here comes Ivan C. Another three. Short. And the rebound there by Nino Sia. 25 seconds remaining in this ball game. And that will be it for our second match in our five game set. But Nino Sia with that. Wow, with that uh, icing on the cake. A tough mama three point basket for Nino Sia with 15.3 remaining. And man, uh, what can we say about the GCC alumni here? You know, after. After losing the 40 up division finals in season two, they they defeated a big fish in defending champion and their nemesis in the finals in a, a alumni association of Xavier School and the machine here of uh, Grace Christian College alumni is just phenomenal. Yeah, everyone is scoring the basketball, and of course we'd have to give our props to Albert Chua. Uh, he's been distributing the ball well. He's been dishing dimes. He's making everyone feel comfortable to score the basketball. Kumbaga na build niya na yung confidence ng teammates niya early in the ball game. And of course, uh, we'd also have to commend everyone. Uh, <laughs> ang galing eh. Yeah, what? They've been playing unselfish basketball. Yeah. One thing uh, for a basketball player, especially uh, generational basketball na to eh. Yes. Marami nang nagbago over the years. And then seeing people and the team specifically, uh, Grace Christian College playing unselfish basketball, just really amazing to watch. And that was it for our ball game 6951 Masterclass here for Grace Christian College alumni. Now 3 and 0. What a ball game here for the white shirts of Grace Christian College alumni. Still undefeated after three contests as we see our Metro Summit Realty highlights of the ball game. Terrific performance here for the for the squad led by head coach Danilo Ching. But again for for head coach Paul Yun and uh, PIQC back to the drawing board now with a split. With a split after their first uh, two contests here in the 40 up division. And stick around for for our best player of the ball game, on behalf of my partner Greg Cilia, we'll have our best player of the ball game interview and a whole lot more here in the Ayaba Tanwai Athletics Cup 40 up division. Some more back to back. Ang home body ko, Top Mama. Simple at maaasahan. Nobody stops like Mama!